Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn, where Edmund thought he was going to take off on an expedition. <laughs> and then this happened. Yeah, these guys are just phasing into the game right now. They are hungry pests, not um, aggressive pests. So the difference being hungry pests just want to go through and devour everything out here which I don't want to give up and when you tell them no then they get a little aggressive and angry I'm pretty sure so yeah I was about to tell Edmund yeah pff, go for it we'll, we'll take care of this but he's got the he's got the pistol so yeah it yeah I think it'd be foolish to send him on his way so Edmund can I I can cancel the expedition you don't need to go grab those meals. Instead, you need to position yourself probably right here. Draft. Uh, where is everybody? We're sleeping. Zoom out a bit. Edmund. Is it? Everybody else is asleep. Okay. Um, who is going to die on me if I have them go out and actually do something? Uh, Khan is in pretty rough shape. She is. And what does she really need? She just needs sleep. <laughs> she does. I did reset their schedule to let them sleep till nine. I think I'll let her sleep till nine. She can be the, uh, you know, the B team come in after, after the A team has done most of the work. So, Umayar, you and Simon and Rita and Paulette and Carter, draft. Don't wake up, Kana. And eh, come on back over here. Maybe we could do something like that. Well, they're groaning and, oh, you woke us up. Okay, there's the bugs over there. They haven't zoned in yet on, they haven't, on us, on the plants. Let's put everybody back up top and see what we can do from here that everyone okay yeah they all turn around you guys are planning do you have any reach somebody does oh we have one real gun sniper that's Rita that's right so Rita's gonna aggro them uh, yeah okay oh well, Rita did you get into place and you are going to take aim immediately you're you're not because we haven't marked them to hunt they're just hungry they're not necessarily enemies do this <laughs> and the fireworks go off all right first shot and what does it do do we need to run indoors really really fast nothing well i was hoping she'd call a couple of them over so the others can start shooting them because so i'd rather not be on the ground for this Really? We're just going to do that, huh? Edmund, I guess you could have gone. Hmm. One more. There we got one of them ticked off. Three of them. Come on, bring them in closer. Close enough for these guys to get in range. Eh, not happening. Damage a large drying rack. Oh, they were picking on this. All right, everybody. Come on down to here. Dude, knock that off. Now, shoot. Yep. Okay, let's see how many we aggro and bring in toward us. Really, we're out of range. Get your one shot off. Nope, got nobody. Okay, come on down into... Uh, into this spot right in here. Got kind of a fence separating you from everyone else. I know Rita's got a shot. And two more caught her attention. And there goes... <laughs> Boy, if it wasn't for Rita, we'd be in trouble. <laughs> Alright, everybody over here now. Let's just take this a little bit at a time. Uh, 
Okay, Rita, bring him in. Yeah, okay, let's move out a little further. So they are leaving our garden alone and just kind of taking out the, the hillside. Okay, well, then let's work our way down here and kind of swoop in and curve through the whole property. All right, move in a little closer. All right, there, everyone's got a shot now. Okay. Move in a little further, maybe down into here. Catch this guy before he gets out of range. Take him out, guys. Okay, head into here. And go for it. Between six shots, somebody's got to be able to take him out. And two more came in. Reload. Reload. There you go. Alright, this is kind of doing this RimWorld style. Just to go on those hunts. Bring everybody. 59 bullets going into one deer to get out. <laughs> I prefer to keep the odds in my favor. <laughs> Alright, let's get some more. Anybody sneaking in behind us? Yep, they're going in over there. Alright, I think it's time we... Where is over there? What does that mean? Coming in from behind? Yeah, let's... Uh, we'll just take them out as they're coming. There might be a time when they all aggro. I don't know. Someone take this one out. Good. Who's nearby now? That one. They're not really getting into our area yet so much. Some are thinking about it. Alright, let's go a little further this way. Take these out. We'll work our way back up to the house. Uh, Kana's up there. Kana. So, did you get your rest? You in better shape now? Happiness still isn't great. Uh, Kana, you draft and head up here. And you defend the home front. Where's the gang here? There's the gang. One's heading in. Kana, you gonna get a shot over there? Take this one out. Good. Spaceship debris crash. Ooh, let's get closer to the house for that one. Yeah, let's let's get up to here. Where is that coming in? Is it already in the air? No, not that I can see. Wait till I can hear it. No, not coming in yet. I don't want to come in on top of our heads. But I've got to also pay attention to what we're about to shoot. Thank you. So, guys, come on up here toward Kana and give her some backup. All right. Any roaring noises yet? No. No. You guys nauseous yet? Okay, so... If that came in, it didn't land near us. Hmm. Oh, that's right. I can click on it. Oh, I thought that was one that was crashing in around us. A large burning object, most definitely a chunk of spaceship crashed in the distance. There was something peculiar about its shape. Intriguing. Peculiar meaning... What? Huh. Military or... I don't know. So everyone get back over here. And, Kana, you can jump in and, and help us here. In fact, I wonder if we should break down into a smaller group and finish this off. So who needs to be doing what? Kana, you undraft, and can you make me that CPU I've asked for for quite some time now? CPU core. And, Paulette, break, can you go cook some more? How are our meals doing? Uh, six and five, actually not that bad. Okay, so that and Rita, ah, oh boy, you got the best shot though. But you're the best planter, and it's planting season. Hmm. Okay, I know I want Carter and Edmund and Umayar and Simon and Paulette's got our stun gun. Rita's got our best shot, but Rita, you go ahead and go back to planting. Get something to eat and go plant. Everybody else, we're going to go clean this mess up. All right. You... Three? 
Where's Carter? Oh, you are right there. I didn't see you. <laughs> okay, let's take a survey. Where is everybody? Moving bugs. Group here. I don't see any back behind us right now. And they're kind of heading out that direction. Okay, let's move in a little bit closer and take out this guy. A little bit more. All right, he's walking into our range. Got him, or at least got his attention, and took him out. Let's go a little bit further. A little further. All right, you're in range. And you're in range. Good. Head down here. Ah, you. Hunt. One, two, three. Are there, is there four of us in there? I don't see four of us. Who are we missing here? Carter. I feel like... Where is Carter? He he, he didn't get selected the first time. All right. Let's get back in here and, and get it together as a group. Right there. Okay, take him out, guys. And Edmund reached combat four. Great. Animal attacking one. From where? And there's still a few more that aren't marked. I double click again. Hunt. Hunt. And you one? You're ready to be butchered. Okay. We'll butcher you. Alright, grab the four. Who's walking in toward us? I don't know. But let's take him out. Alright, good enough. Just, just do it. And somebody's ravenously hungry. Is there anybody that snuck in behind us, destroying anything? Uh, doesn't look to be. Who's ravenously hungry? Uh, there. It's fullness. It's Simon. All right, Simon, underaft. You're decent. You're decent. You're Carter as well. Okay, Carter. Where are you at? Who's actually rushing toward us right this moment? Nobody is. Okay, Carter, undraft, and Umar and Edmund. We're going to uh, we're going to handle this on our own. Risk a meltdown, Simon, and he's off to get something to eat. Okay, so let's go after this guy. Okay, let's go after this guy. Looking to see who's creeping around behind us here. Okay, we took him out. Another one's coming in. Another two coming in. Boom. And, and, and. Stabbed him. Okay. What was that? Injury. We have a little bit of a of an injury. We have a mild pain and no bleeding. Okay. Superficial. You two are now after here. And again, that wondering what triggers butchering is that hunting. So Carter is set as a one. Edmund is set as a one. So if Carter is set for one for hunting, well, he's going to come back out here and hunt these guys. So I want to see if I can get any of these guys to butcher. Butcher without me having to tell them to. Okay, nothing else is happening when I double click. Alright, grab you guys and stop you. Guys, stop. Survivors, stop. <laughs> okay, take him out. Alright. Uh, this guy's coming toward us? No. But you're on the other side of a bush, so let's go this way. In case that uh, wipes out our, our sight. There we are. Got a few different targets in range. Take him out. I'm hearing, what, repairs? Someone was planting. I don't know. Who was chopping? Alright, you guys. Taking him out. What we got left? Nine. All right, we're almost done here. You guys, take him down. Good job. 
Um, let's take this guy down. There's too many of them. Oh, are they actually eating each other? They are. Aha. Uh -huh. So they are taking out my bug meat. And these two look like they're battling each other. <laughs> it sure... Oh, they're eating some bug meat on the ground. Aha. Uh -huh. We must have left something behind. All right, so let's take out this guy. Got him. And let's take out this guy. Good. So, four left. I see two of them right there. And where are the other two? And Carter's hunting one on his own. Cool. That one's attacking. This one's attacking. Carter. Carter's fleeing. <laughs> it's what happens during a hunt order instead of a draft order. Okay. Carter. Draft. Attack. That's more like it. Yeah. Alright. So, you guys... We have one left somewhere. Right over here. Alright. You guys come take him out. And Carter, undraft. And you're not bleeding, but you're probably going to go rush in to be treated. You don't really need it. So I guess I will have to manually tell you to start butchering. So double click. Now which one did you just take out? Because that one shouldn't have a butcher order on it. Unless this is happening automatically because they're set to hunt. It might. Okay. So Carter. Uh, butching, butcher starving scarabai. All of those and that. So you grab this whole area. Um, these guys probably need to go in and get some food. They've been at this all day. They have. All right. You guys are done. Undraft. All right, Paulette. Let's get you... Oh, your rest is going to be tanking soon, but let's get you to butcher this one and then these two here. And that's probably all you're good for. Rita is also pretty rough. She is planting. I'm going to leave her alone. Simon, your happiness is on its way up. Okay, you're going to grab this one. And you're going to grab all of these. And into this area. And these are done. No, nope, grab those two. Alright, Edmund and Umayar are off to get something to eat. Yep. So, Kana, you're left. And you're probably... Ah, uh, you never got a dinner because I wouldn't let you. Okay. Draft, undraft. Do you go and get something to eat? You do. So, you're going to grab something to eat. And, in fact, let's grab something better. Eat veggie soup reserved by Edmund. Ah, uh, okay. Never mind. We only have one stack. And so only one person is allowed at a time. So after you eat that, then let's have you come down here and butcher these and butcher those. Anything over here? Oh, Kana. Try that again. Butcher that one. Butcher those. And that one. And then work your way back over this way. Okay. So I guess tomorrow Edmund will head out. And I don't know if this counts as our big attack coming in. Or if this just is just like a you know a toxic ash storm or something. Meaning just an event. And the main event is still coming. So hmm. Well we'll see. You are butchering, 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 eating. So, Edmund, except for fullness, you're still in good shape. So as soon as you're done eating, come on back to this area. Butcher them. Those are all in reserve. Let's get you up into here and into here. 
And Umayar, you're awaiting treatment. Um, okay, where are you? Right here. You can honestly treat yourself. And who was the other injury? Carter. He... Actually, Umar, just... You need to sleep. Yeah. Grab a meal. And go to sleep. Sleep will probably heal you. Alright, Rita. You are hacking it down and planting new ones. Because the placement has changed? Well, if you're going to do that, then come on up here and... and uh, do some butchering for me. You can grab these and... Hmm. I guess these are over here in place of Edmund. And these... Yeah, we'll do that. And what was that noise? Somebody was... Maybe somebody was idle for a second. I've noticed that comes up and then the game corrects itself. Alright, so Evan's going to take care of those. Umara's eating dog is just kind of wandering around. Interesting. <clears throat> Happiness 100, fattening 92. Still has a bunch of food in there. Okay, so he's fine. I haven't gone out and really looked around for more bugs. There's a great big pterodactyl. Alright, well that's most of it. Carter's bringing in that batch. is still... I don't see anything on the ground. It does show up as a kind of a fluorescent green spot here and there. I do see one, two more bugs that we missed. And three right there. So, but they're all pretty well beat and getting close to to uh, getting cranky, so better leave them alone. I asked Carter to go ahead and set that into the fermentation barrel, and we'll see how uh, how he does there. Oh, he is taking his time. So he's got to drop it off, then he's got to pick it up, put it in, and Edmund was going to do this one, but didn't. So can Carter close up the lid? Or do you have to take the 50 out? Oh, good. You unequipped a shirt. <laughs> I guess he just ran out. Okay, so you're awaiting treatment. You can self-heal. Yeah, just, just poke yourself in the butt with something. There you go. Yeah, you're fine for that. That uh, wasn't even a bleeding wound. Oh, you got to poke yourself twice. Okay, well, oh, really? You just, you like that, huh? Okay. Oh, r dude, <laughs> it's not even a flesh wound. <laughs> uh, superficial bite and bleeding per hour zero. Okay, I'm about to uh, banish you from ever healing yourself again. All right, go get something to eat and then go get some pants on. We got pants up there. All right, so Umar is cutting. Umar is cutting. Now Umar is butchering. And then he is butchering. And then he is... Why is he out here? Wait a minute here. You didn't even go to bed, did you? You did. Okay. Then you were butchering. All right, you get those three. Somebody who's set for transport or deliver or something will realize there's meat out there. Why... Did you go to cutting? I did set everybody to get the cutting done first. So maybe he... Yeah, his research is now the same level as cutting. That's why. Okay. Maybe... Well, no. We'll, we'll go ahead and do that. I was going to say, you know, when there's no research, you can go out to cut, but there will never not be any research. So you do these three things, and you... How are you otherwise? You're decent. You just you need a meal when you get back. Okay, you'll be fine. Edmund is sleeping. How soon before we can send him out? He got a meal, so he just needs some rest and relaxation. 
and he should be pretty much back to normal. Send him off, come back with a bunch of supplies. Okay, so everyone else is going to sleep through the morning, and before they all wake up at 9, at Carter's in horrible shape. So let's, I guess, kill off half a day here. And you guys do whatever you want. Get yourselves recharged. And so you can function again. And we'll just continue from there. Otherwise, what is going on? So it's either Kana or Paulette. And they need to have you continue working on... Am I paused? There we go. On CPUs. Um, we got lots of cutting to do. I need a lot of wood in before I want to release this house. Let's get most of the materials in. And Although I don't have a... Well, I don't have a warning because I haven't released the house. Yeah. Once I take that off of, or unpause it, then uh, we should get all kinds of angry messages over here. So Simon is up. He has had his meal. And he is going to go out and cut, I would imagine. Simon, your first one is craft. Because we're still trying to get all the slop that we can to get these berries used up before they're all thrown away. These particular berries uh, group this way. So 33, 33, and they're all 33%. So I wish I could say use these first. This 50 over here is 27%. So guess it doesn't matter. As long as he doesn't go into the fridge to get them. How bad are they in the fridge? We're at 28% in the fridge. That fridge. This fridge, we're at 52. Now is that all of them? No, there's a 32 over there. 37, 49, 67. So we just kind of average them out. I see. Um, generator is off. I need to remember to check this battery once in a while. It's probably time to get this turned back on and get that charged up again. We're not depending on it for something like, uh, uh, defenses, thankfully. It's just creature comforts. And it's probably time to do a refuel there, too. So, Simon is transporting. Paulette is making meals. She didn't make much yesterday. We do have a little bit of catching up to do. Yeah. Edmund's waking up, and you need to probably just do some music, and then we need to get you out on that uh, that uh, expedition one more time. So who can turn this off? Kind of sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. Umayar, you are eating, then you are going to come over here and handle the generator, and I can't tell you to refuel, can I? Now, it probably has to wait till it's at a, a certain amount. And turn off that message. And, yep, yeah, you're just going to keep making slop. Good. Now, he puts it in here. These are the closest berries right now. What are you going to do? You're done with slop. I guess we need to turn this message up. Well, I don't know. See, I don't know how long it's going to last out here. Well... It's actually doing really good. Happiness effect is a negative 12 for the dog. But everybody pets the dog, so that overcomes the negative 12. So I think we're still good there. So let's increase this number from 100 to 200 and keep this going. So Simon, draft, undraft. And what are you going to do now? You're going to grab rotten berries. Thank you. Just keep it going. We'll convert these low percentages to 100% in slop and go from there. Now we... Yeah. Oh, where's the meat? You zoomed in on some meat, didn't you? There. One. That's not worth the trip out. None of these are probably worth the trip out if there's anything left. Though I would have thought Umar would have brought it in. What is that? Is that poo? Those are sticks. We got a bunch of sticks to pick up. Okay. And Simon would be the one to do it. Rita, you are getting a good night's sleep in. Let's switch you guys all back. Where are we right now? 1300. We're right in here. So we're basically back anyway. But let's work five hours there. I think we were like that. And then we were 
relax on the, in the 7 o'clock hour, get back to our normal schedule. Edmund, you are basically done. I don't know where you are. You're out of here constructing stairs. Okay, you're in decent shape except for fullness. But you'll grab a meal and take it with you, so I think you'll be fine. Okay, we are fueled and we are ready to go one more time. I was, I was trying to send you to the cruise ship. So Edmund, send and will you do it? I guess once you finish these stairs, you'll reevaluate your life. But that is quite a staircase. It is. Let's get Carter to do that. Draft, undraft. And get on the expedition while it's still daylight. All right, so we're sending him off at about 1,400. The expedition is 10 hours to get there. So he'll get there at midnight and get back at 10 in the morning. So that kind of gives us a clue on when we're going to have him back here to help us with whatever's coming. And I just heard a pen cough in the tree or something. There he is. Yeah. Got that that noise that they make. Rita reached physical two. She is planting. So planting must... Oh, she's cutting. She's cutting down the plants from where I moved the... Uh, uh, the field plots around. Now, I did redo this guy. Made it huge. I'm putting grass grain fields so we we're gonna have more grain than we know what to do with I tell ya now what is over here this is not a high priority I took Carter into uh, cutting more so than construction so he's equipping clothes I see that and never mind he's going to go construct so I guess if the materials are available, that overrides. So Carter, hunt number one, cut number two, and oh, construct is ahead of it. Ah, okay. So when you have nothing else to build, you will go and cut like crazy. Okay. So we just won't turn this on then until we've got four or five hundred wood in, in stock. So Kana is handling a fermentation barrel. I want you to get back to the CPU. You are transporting that to here. That's a good thing. We are just about out. Okay. Battery is a little more than half. So we'll let you do that, Kana. And then I think we'll go ahead and get you working on this again. That is our soldering bench. Simon, what are you doing? Wish I could get... I guess I can get us a little bit lower. Can I get in here? Yeah. Let's see what's going on here. So he makes slop in a... in a bottle. <laughs> Alright. Here's all of our fuel. We've got three power cells now. Nice. Four bottles of moonshine down there. What do you think the 30 is? That's that's leather made from the uh, bark. No, that's the bark itself. That is the bark itself. Bark's in this shelf. Yeah, supposed to be turned into leather and put on this shelf. And we have none. So we've used that all up. Okay. And now that... Oh, good. No? Kana? Where'd you go? Got a... Okay. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> She's still not doing it. Where are you actually at right now? You are handling a fireplace. Yeah, 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 yeah. 1,800 hours. Can I get you to do it now? Can I get you to override all of your other... Now you're doing it. But you have transport set up immediately afterward. Why is that? Transport means you're already programmed to put it away when you're done. Okay. This guy is 48% done. It is a... I don't know. It's a 12-hour project. Okay. It's so another 6 hours minus her skill level. So maybe another four or five hours and it'll be done 
Otherwise, out here, Carter is constructing this shelter. He's built the staircase. So yeah, he's just gonna continue his, his job. And I guess that's as good as we can ask. I wish there was someone else who could plant. Let's think about that. Can we come up with a secondary planter? Carter, Paulette, and Kana. Paulette is busy. Kana is busy. Carter is busy. Well, we have a lot of foods out here. They're going to be a bit delayed in their growth. Some of it. Others won't be. So I'd say we're probably going to be in good shape. Carter's going to sleep. Um, yeah. All right, then. So out here is what? Let's take a little look around tonight. And then how long have I been recording? Actually, not that long. Is this still the first day? I don't No, 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 no. First day we, sh we worked on those bugs and then we took that into the night. This is our second night. It just seems to be going a lot faster. I don't know how many episodes. I've always landed at an hour and something for two days. Yeah, we're coming up on the end of our second day. Are you... dead? Hmm. That's some meat I'd like to have. Who took you down? I don't see any big chickens around here. Hmm. <clears throat> Who could come out here and do this? That's in decent condition. Rita is up already. And she's in pretty good shape. Uh, Simon is too. He is crafting. Okay. Simon, you got a faster run. Come on out here and butcher. Let's get that meat in. Edmund is gone. Kana is kind of rough. Umayar is... Yeah, leave them to do what they're doing. And here, how you doing? Can you get this done tonight? I bet you can. And I'd love to see this episode, what that's going to open up for us. There was there was quite a bit of research that required the CPU core, like for the advanced research desk. Uh, sensor device. Put some heat reacting liquid in a glass cylinder and you have a thermometer. Attach a microprocessor to it and you have a thermostat sensor capable of triggering smart devices in its network at given temperatures. Hmm. An infrared camera placed on a rotating pylon is all that one needs. Uh, all that one must design in order to have a 360 degree motion sensor. Ah, they took us through the whole process to say this will track enemies if they get near the guns. I see. Rita's going to sleep. Going to sleep. Going to sleep. Kana is so close. And she is... 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 Done. Gotcha. Transporting. So it builds it in. That's nice. The game's programmed to do that. You dropped it off somewhere. I didn't see ya. Huh. That is a CPU core. One. So it must be this guy. Yeah, it could be that one. Yeah, it is that one right there. Okay. So let's pause. We've got that. We've got Simon out here. He's transporting meat. Good. And... Everybody else here looks fine. So I don't know what that was. But with all of you guys out here, I bet you we have some uh, manure available. 135. Let's go ahead and... Insufficient storage space. For manure. Hmm. That was set to go on shelves over here. I don't actually see any. That was an odd message. Okay. Can I fit 50 of it on here? Well, hmm, okay. So, that opened up research. We are running, and not much more going on tonight. Let's close off with seeing what this does for us. Can't add any more to it. 
Catherine brought up the idea of winemaking to use up the berries, and it looks like it uses 100 berries at a time, which would use up the berries. Um, it'll be a while before we can get to that. Um, well, you know, I won't lose this by turning it off. Let's do that. And then turn you back on. Sleep. And then there was what? Ooh. Whatever it was, the heat, the heat pumps here. So advanced research desk. Um, doesn't really say what we're going to get. With great CPU power comes great responsibility. We will cherish the uniqueness of this alien world or will we find new ways to destroy it? This must bring in the more high-tech end of defense weapons and that sort of thing. Okay. But that heat pump is our air conditioner for the freezer right here. That's what we've been waiting for. It's a two-way heat pump. Built-in thermostat, air conditioning, and heating in one. Okay. I would love to get that in. But what were we looking at? We were looking at leather, armor... Might not be a bad idea to get that going. It's it's only a day. And laser pistols, but it's three days and three days. We were doing this one. Three days. Let's get the research, research desk in, and then let's get the heat pump in. Okay. There's that. We are running. You guys are sleeping. Simon's on his way back. And... Cruise ship debris. Midnight. Two in the morning. Oh, I was off. I scavenged as much scrap metal as I could and found a suitcase of summer clothing. Okay. Sure. So, luxury cruise ships are full of suitcases, apparently. Okay. So, he's a medium physical skill, average amount of scrap metal. Okay. So, we got to keep working him to get uh, more stuff brought back with higher physical skills. So, with that, I guess we're going to call this done before something pops in and kind of ruins my uh, my exit here <laughs> thanks for watching folks we'll catch you next time bye bye